Nico, how special was that last hole for you? It was very special when when I didn't. It was very hard to see out there at the end. Uh, it was it was dark. It was gloomy. Um, so I didn't. I couldn't tell how close it was. I, I heard the roar, but when I got there and it was almost tap in, it was it was very good. What club was it? It was a five wood. I, uh, I had a perfect number for a middle of the green five wood and was trying to cut it a little. I maybe pushed it a hair, but it was it was perfect. You made bogey on four, but you came back so nicely with those four birdies to make the turn on thirty one. Just talk about. Your thoughts after that bogey on four, a hard hole. What were you thinking of to that led to such a nice run? Yeah, it was a it was a wake up call, um, and I hit one of the best six irons I've hit all week to two feet on on a hard par three, and uh, that got things started. Hit a quality second shot on on the par five, took advantage of that. Then hit it to two feet again on on eight and made a good putt on nine. So it, it got things going. Uh, started again shaky on the back nine with a uh, with a bogey on nine and an incredible save on twelve. But uh, we finished the round as as well as we could. Twelve was that pitch from the downhill, that terrible lock. Yeah. What what sort of energy do you get from the eagle on the last hole carrying over? Yeah, it's it's a. I mean, that's the way you want to finish around. I had a I had a good tee. I hit a good tee shot. I hit a really good second shot and finished uh, with an eagle. If if you, I prefer that than a birdie, obviously. Nico, we noticed you smiling a lot on the course today. Over the ball, out, and it's obvious why. But talk about that and how you're feeling out there and playing in the final group of JT. You're doing it again tomorrow. You got a two shot lead. What? How are you feeling about all this? Yeah, it was. I'm. I'm just trying to enjoy myself. This is a beautiful country with uh, great people, and I've, we've we've had an incredible time. And they've treated us very well. The the crowds have been awesome. So I'm just I'm just having a good time out there and making a lot of birdies. So that's the reason for smiling. What's been key to your great week so far, Nico? Looking at your season, one top ten, but uh, a great run so far this week. Yeah, I've. I've hit the ball well. I've I've hit it very close. I've made a lot of putts, so it's been it's been consistent. Uh, kept it in the fairway mostly, and that's that's the keep out out here. It's it's hitting from the fairway. The greens are in great shape, so if you're in the fairway, you're you're gonna have some good looks. Did you find anything on the range when you arrived here? No, I've I mean I've been I've been playing well. I just haven't had that many good results. I I played well in Utah. Finished. I think 11th or 12th, maybe, yeah. And um, last week, how I said, I, I made 12 birdies and missed the cut. So that's a that's a good sign that if you're making that many birdies, it's because things are going the right direction, and it seems like it's clicking this week. You said yesterday you've led before after 54 holes. When was that, and how did that come out? That was uh, that was in Puerto Rico. That's where, yeah. Oh, that's the one you, yeah. the one you won. Mm-hmm. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, obviously, this is a better field than than the one in Puerto Rico. There's better players out here, but a win is a win, and I'm gonna rely on that and keep doing what I'm doing, trying to have fun and and see where we go. What's gonna be important for you to try and focus on tomorrow? Just stay in the moment. It's it's a cliche, but it's 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 really important. Uh, you don't want to go ahead with yourself, especially with. There's a lot of hard holes out here, and you just have to hit shot by shot and, and try to try to be in the fairway, try to hit the green, and see if the putt goes in.